Hi, this is Mark from Wicked Design. In this Crockle Block tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this filters pop up right here using Jet Smart filters and the Jet Pop Up plugin. So I wanted to have it where when you click this button right here, it says apply filters, have a pop up where the user can now select these options, click apply filters, and then right down here, it's going to automatically filter all of this information out. So if you have a situation where you might have a lot of filters and it might not look great on the front end of the website, you can always apply these filters in a pop-up. And then when you click the apply filters, it will automatically will close this pop-up. Then at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how you can add this remove filters so the user can remove the filters and then go back to how it was. So let me jump into the back end and get started. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you have your filters already set up in Jet Smart Filter. So in this situation, I have two filters. This first one is like a drop down for the payments. And then this is a checkbox. So that's what I have right here. You could see I have the first one called payment where it is just select and I have a taxonomy called payments. And the next one is just called features checkbox where I'm just using a checkbox list and just using some custom fields. Now you could jump over into jet pop-up, click this button where it says create new pop-up. Make sure the first one is selected as Elementor and then just give it a name and click create. Now what we need to do inside of our pop-up is add three different widgets. So the first widget I'm gonna be adding is the select filter. So I'm gonna click and drag that in. And then I need to do a search for, in my situation it's called payment. And then this filters for jet engine. So right here, if I jump over into the page I'm gonna be adding this to, uh, this page is using the jet engine listing grid. So this also can work with your Elementor loop grids or anything like that. So any one of your listings, and if it falls in here, it's going to work correctly. So if you're using JetWoo Builder or an Elementor Pro Archive, any of these, it's going to work correctly. So I'm going to choose Jet Engine, and then I'm going to go keep Ajax on default. And then this right here, make sure that you see where it says Apply On. Make sure you click this button where it says Click on Apply button. So now what we can do is pull in the other widget. So this one's called the Checkbox Filter. Click and drag that in. And then this one is just called Features Checkbox. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to choose Jet Engine for the filter and then apply on, click on apply button. Now what we can do is add the apply button. So search for the word apply, click and drag that in. Same thing. We're going to use Jet Engine and then you can just keep this on Ajax. Uh, this is the most important thing is go ahead right now and hit update and then refresh because if this is your first time creating this pop-up, it's not going to appear in the next step. So once you have your page refreshed and everything, go into the apply button, click advanced. Now head over into jet pop-up. And then this right here is called my filter pop-up. So whatever you call the pop-up you're in now, make sure you select it right here. And then that's it. Go ahead and hit update. And now your pop-up is done. Now what we're gonna do is add it to this page. So once you have your listing grid all built out or whatever you're gonna be using, now what you can do is add the apply button. So just search for the word apply button, click and drag that in. And as you can see, you need to select it. And this filter is for, uh, like I said, I'm using the jet engine listing grid right here. So I'm gonna choose jet engine. You can keep all this by default. Now what we need to do is go back underneath advanced and go to jet pop-up and search for the one that we just created. So I just called that filter pop-up. Then you could just make sure that it says right here, click on widget and that's it. So now when you hit update on this page, if you do some testing, you're going to see now when I click it, it's going to pop up and the user can select multiple filters and hit apply. So as you can see, if there's nothing being found, the user doesn't have a way to go back unless they go here and unselect it. In order to add the remove filter, what we need to do is just search for the widget called remove filters and just add it to your website wherever it makes sense. So I'm gonna apply it right next to the uh, apply button. And then you just need to choose this filters for Jet Engine. And that's all I need to do. So now if I go ahead and hit update. So now if the user goes and puts in a value that's not gonna return nothing. So if I say cash, two bedrooms, hit apply. Now the user's gonna have the, have the ability to click remove filters and then go back to the way it was. And that's it for this Crocoblock tutorial on how to add a filters pop-up to your website like this. Thank you for watching.